Happy Easter, Trinity. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Thank you so much for joining us in worship this morning as we celebrate Christ's resurrection together. Before we get our service underway, I want to remind anyone who might be joining us for the first, second, or even tenth time that there are several ways to connect with us here on staff. You can check them out right here. Make sure you also take a look at our weekly bulletin that's got information about some of the ongoing monthly ministries happening soon. And don't forget that our one-stop shop for anything you might need at Trinity is located at the link online. Okay, everyone, we've got some worshiping to do today, so let's keep moving. Since it's Resurrection Sunday, and we have a lot of you here with us, I wanted to take just a little bit to let you know some of our exciting events that are coming up over the next few months. Events like our beach baptism, back for the first time since 2019, and one of our absolute favorite days of the year, coming to Menor Headlands on Sunday, June 25th. Following closely after that is our Kids Vacation Bible School program on June 26th through the 29th for kids entering kindergarten through entering fifth grade. Then we've got youth summer camp happening in mid-July at Crossings Camp in Northern Kentucky, which is open to all students who have finished sixth grade through their senior year of high school. Next up, our annual men's golf outing, returning this year to Powderhorn Golf Course on Saturday, August 12th. And finally, we can't forget to mention the sixth annual Heart and Home 5K and One Mile Fun Run to benefit Hannah's home, coming to Trinity on October 7th. Registration options for all of these events will be available over the next few weeks at the link online. So mark your calendars now and we'll share more information soon. And that's this week and beyond at Trinity. Thanks so much for being with us today and let's get Sunday started.